So I've been using regular foot pockets for a long time and I thought they were comfortable, but it wasn't until I went into the shop and got them custom molded to my foot that I realized what true comfort is. And I wanna show you the process in case you wanna do it to your own fins. And I highly recommend you go into a shop and have a trained person do it, but in case you don't have a shop near you, here's the best practices. But before we get started, please hit that like button. Now let's go learn. So when we're heat molding these foot pockets, we're really heat molding the two bands that are on top. There's three bands that go across the foot. So you're heating those up. That way you can stretch them and then lock them in place when we cool them down. How long do you normally do that piece? Um, about two minutes. Two minutes. Now, if somebody doesn't have a heat gun, can they do it with like near boiling water or? You can do it with near boiling water or you can even do it with a blow dryer. Oh, wow. Just with the blow dryer, it's gonna get a take a little longer or? Mm -hmm. You typically wanna heat them up till you can feel on the inside, you can go like this. Kind of grab it from the inside and it'll feel really squishy when you do that it'll be fairly malleable can you damage the foot pockets with this no. if you do it too much and it starts to melt all the way through yes you can overdo it so you want to be careful make sure you're just doing it enough to where you can stretch the rubber So you want to you don't do it around the heel or underneath right it's just nope. those two bands yeah just around the top here you can focus on there's a band that runs across the foot right there but for you since you said that the issue is primarily up here i'm focusing on these two bands here this down and go ahead and move your foot around a little bit yeah give it a wiggle stretch it out a little bit it already feels so much better yeah and then we're gonna take this guy you gotta cool it down that way it locks the foot pocket into place and we use a cold towel instead of just you know letting it sit in the air because the cold towel is actually gonna cool it faster the water will draw the heat out now because it draws the heat out obviously it's gonna heat up the towel so you gotta make sure and rotate the towel around. Make sure that you're using different parts of the towel. That way it continues to cool it. And is it just by feel that you're kind of, yeah. oh, it's about ready, it's hard again? Yeah. So we're just gonna keep rotating the towel around. Typically it'll take just a few minutes for that thing to cool all the way down. It does warm up your foot. Oh yeah. Good thing we have two uh, socks on. Yeah. You wanna make sure and do double the thickness of the boot that you're typically wearing. Usually guys are wearing in Southern California a two millimeter, so we do a four. But if you're gonna wear a five millimeter booty, I would just throw a two millimeter on top of it. That way you're stretching the boot just a little bit. Rotate it one more time, get something cool on it. And then we're gonna let it sit for a bit and I'm gonna heat the other one up. That way we can do that. All right, so we removed the over sock. Let's see how it fits. Wow, so much better, man. Yeah? Yeah, like a gazillion times better. Right on. Now, do you use fin keepers or? Um. I don't, just because typically when you heat mold them, they fit your feet really well. Yeah. And when you point your toe like this, mm -hmm. there's no way that shoe is going to come off. Right. Yeah. Exactly. How uh, how loose do you have it? Just is it does it usually have a little bit of play? It's or? got just a little bit of play, but yeah. when you point your toe, it snugs up. Yeah. So perfect. And that guys is how you uh, heat mold. We're gonna slide these guys all the way into the foot pocket. So it touches the rails right there. That way they're flush, and that'll typically go all the way back. Now with the Setma S-Wing foot pocket, these blades actually have the tongue on them that it goes all the way 
to the back right here, where a traditional blade will usually come to about here. So you want to get these guys all the way back in the foot pocket. Now the upside to having your blade go that far back in the foot pocket is you're getting more power to your fins from your foot. You're not just kicking with the ball of your foot up here, you're kicking with your whole foot while you're in the water. And then why do some guys like it glued versus with the screws? So you, these have the capability in them right here. There's a bracket, you can pop them out. You could screw these in if you wanted to, but at Spear America, our thought process is these are perfectly good fins without holes in them. So why would we put holes in them? Because when you put holes in them, that makes them weak, they're more likely to crack. So what we do is we use a industrial grade super glue, more or less, and we glue these suckers in and they're not gonna come out. The glue starts to wear out after three or four years, in which case you can just bring them back in and have them touched up and they'll be good to you. So what we're gonna do, it really doesn't take too much of this. So there's not very much left in this bottle. All we're gonna do is really lift this guy up, put the nozzle under, and you just start squeezing on the way down. And you kind of get a feel for it. I've done this quite a few times, so I know pretty much how much glue I'm squeezing out into this guy. So you're just gonna go all the way around. All the way up the side. And then you can kind of lift this guy up and really finish it off. And then you want to really focus on the tips of it right here. You want to push these guys in and you'll see a little bit of glue squeeze out on each side. That's not a bad thing. It's a good thing because it means that you're getting a full seal all the way around. It means you put enough glue, but you didn't overdo it. And you can even see a little bit right down here at the bottom and on the sides leaking out. So what we do, we can take a microfiber towel. This is just an old rag that we're not gonna use for anything else. So what you do is you pinch it down, give it a little bit of pressure, that way the glue squeezes out. And then you wanna make sure you're only wiping a little bit at a time, and you wanna be wiping into the fin. So I'm really taking my finger, pressing on the blade, and wiping like this towards the edge. That way, if you wipe it straight down, it's now that we've got the full seal in there, we pushed it down and we wiped away the excess glue. Now we're gonna take these guys and you just wanna clamp down the sides, get it on there, put it up as far as you can. That way you can add as many clips as you can. We're gonna do that guy there. And then we're gonna take a second one. We're gonna put it uh, right here. Next one down. And then you're gonna take another one on this side, do the exact same. And you're just gonna work your way all the way down till you can get to the bottom of the foot pocket here. That way it's holding pressure all the way around so that glue can really set in place and it'll hold the fin in. And it will look like this. And then just wait 20 minutes? Uh, about 10 minutes per side. So right now we're doing the bottom, then it'll do about 10 minutes for the top. Gotcha. So after clamping down the sides, you take a lighter like that, and I take this clamp and I'll put it on this side like this. Ah, this guy's kind of in the way. How to get that more even distribution across the top? Yeah. So you do that guy, and then you take this guy, and then go like this. That way, what it's doing is underneath that lighter, right underneath it's creating a flat spot, so that way it creates the suction against it. The hack. Yep. 